Here we're introducing the ProLine Irrigation Controller. This is a modular base controller. The base unit is a four station. It will go up to as many as 16 stations or more depending on the size of the modules that are placed within the unit. Today we're going to just run through some simple settings such as setting the, the date and time. We're going to put in some program start times, some zone run times, and selecting the days to water. First, let's set the current date and time. We're going to rotate the dial to the current date and time. On the screen we see the hour is flashing. Just as simple as hitting the up and down arrows to select the current hour. We're going to hit next. Okay, that we've got the minutes. We're going to hit next. Now we've got the month, the day, and the calendar year. Okay, we're going to hit up. We're going to hit next. And as you see, as you were changing the day of the month, the day on top should match. Okay, so today is Tuesday, July the 7th, and the year is 20. We're going to hit next, and it'll that takes us to the year, and then we hit next, and then it brings us right back to the beginning. As soon as we turn the dial out of position, our current time is set. Now we're going to go through some program start times. This unit has four different programs, and in the top left-hand corner, we see program A, we'll see program B, C, and D. Each program has three start times. Start one, start two, and start three. We're gonna do the very first start time, and these start times are in 10 minute increments. So let's do the first start time for eight in the morning. We're gonna hit next. The second start time, we're gonna run that one, let's say at 12 noon. And our last start time we are going to run that at four in the afternoon and it'll automatically go to a.m. or p.m. as we rotate through the um, through the timing schedule okay and here all we're gonna hit next and it brings us right back to the beginning again so our program start times have been entered. As soon as we rotate the dial out of position, our program start times have been um, saved. Okay, now we're gonna go to some zone run times. Again, just like what we said in program start times, we got program A up in the top left hand corner, B, C, and D. So the settings that we're gonna do in program A, we do the exact same in B, C, and D if we've got settings within those programs. Okay, here we have zone one, or some people know it as valve one. Okay, so valve one, let's say we're gonna run valve one for let's say 20 minutes. Okay, we're gonna hit next. Now we got valve two. Valve two, we've got a different variety, let's say a more woody variety of plant material that we wanna irrigate. We're gonna do that one, let's say for 30 minutes, okay. Now we're going to do zone number three. We're going to do that one for 20 minutes. And zone number four. We're going to do that one for, let's say, only 15 minutes. Okay, depending on the variety. We're going to hit next, and it brings us right back to one again. So now once our settings are put into the controller, again, we rotate the dial out of position and our settings have been saved, okay? Now let's go through the days of the week. As far as what days did we wanna irrigate? Did we wanna irrigate by the day? Did we wanna irrigate interval days? Or did we wanna irrigate in odd even days? 
Okay, here we're gonna select just the days of the week. So once we've selected our days of the week, we hit next, and now the individual days show up on the screen and either on or off starts flashing. So as simple as hitting next for this selected day and hitting the up and down arrow for what days are going to be on and what days are gonna be off. And as you know, as far as when we turn the day on, Monday shows up on the top screen. When we turn Monday off, Monday is removed from the top screen. So now, it, according to the top screen, we're only irrigating Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday are off. And if you did want to turn those days back on again, just hitting the up, hit next. Let's go through the day of the week. Let's hit Sunday. And let's turn Sunday on. And now Sunday's back on the screen again. Okay, so now once we've gone through, we've turned them all on, or we've, we've made some on or off, all we have to do is rotate the dial out of position, and our days have been saved. Every time that we, once your settings have been set, we need to turn the dial to the run position to run the program. If we want to turn the system off for whether we're overwintering or if there's a selected time period that we do not want to irrigate at all, we just turn the system to off. Okay, but in most cases, in most irrigation settings, we want to always keep the dial in the run position. This is what I've got for the simple settings as far as we've set the current date and time, program start times, the zone run times, and we've set the days to water. Look forward to other videos on other settings that you, um, that you may see on, on the controller. We will run through those in some other videos. Thank you.